Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's video. So, you guys haven't actually had the opportunity to meet the Jeep yet. So, this is my 9859 Grand Cherokee. So, let's give you a little bit of a cold start. What you think? So you saw that, right? The Jeep has duals on uh, both sides. And as weird as it sounds, it's still not loud enough for me. Um, I've had this Jeep for 16 years. And, um, you know, just haven't been able to bring myself to part with it. I um, gave it to my sister for a while. Um, her husband and them had gotten a couple accidents with their cars. And with two little kids, and it was winter time, you know, I wanted my niece and nephew to be safe at the time. Well, I mean, I want them to be safe, but that's all I had was a niece and nephew. She has uh, twins in addition to now, so there's four of them. Uh, so it, it, it wouldn't work now uh, for them. So they have a, you know, a Suburban now, which works for them. Uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit louder, so if it's too loud, I'll try to adjust it later. And if it doesn't work, I'm sorry. Uh, it tends to get a little loud in here. Um, it's old. It's a 98. The, the insulation doesn't work as good as it used to. The soundproofing isn't as good as it used to. I mean, uh, the exhaust sounds aside, you know, a lot of the outside world tends to come in. The purpose of this video is, I don't want to make any excuses. I haven't been doing many uploads because uh, our daughter is now doing five weeks. We've been doing a lot of stuff around the house um, and other things in my life. Uh, getting things ready. I've been working a lot trying to save some money So that way when she gets here, it'll be a little bit easier and with that being said I've got the garage that I'm Cutting in half so that way I can still do all my editing and whatnot uh, I'm losing my office so that way My daughter's gonna take the room upstairs and all the computer stuff, all my collectibles, everything is going to go down into the garage that we're, you know, making a room out of. So, that's been taking up some time. It's been crappy in here, so I haven't gotten too much content. I've, done, I've shot a couple of videos. They're going to be coming up. I want to try to stick to the one video a week thing, at least for now. I'd like to try to do more. Um, I was actually out yesterday doing some networking, contacting uh, a couple of dealerships, trying to get... Um, couple of videos lined up so I can get like the track hawk shot and as soon as it gets nicer out here I've got the Ford GT uh, another Lambo that I'm going to be doing a review on and whatnot so more things to come so for those of you that are watching please stick around and thank you and this video that I am going to do now is um, from when I went to the call out and um, I didn't get to interact with Mike from Street Speed. Uh, he was really busy, and uh, there were a lot of the younger people, younger kids and whatnot that were there. Uh, everyone wanted to see him, and he was mobbed all the time. So I really focused on getting everyone else, but I did get some ra racing shots of him and a couple of shots of his cars when they were parked. So please, you know, enjoy this upcoming video, and uh, tell me what you think. This is my first opportunity to get over here and check out Mike's car. This is Street Speed 717's 2017 Vet Z06. That wrap looks absolutely incredible. I'm loving it.
here we have Street Speed's 5th Gen. Wraps coming out good, Mike. Keep it up. with the Dirty Max. You can't really see it because of the light shining off, but this wrap, Mike, by far is my favorite wrap that you've done thus far. It looks absolutely incredible. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. As always, likes, comments, shares, always appreciated. Uh, anything that you think I can work on, please let me know. I'm pretty sure the list is a mile long. Uh, so I'm still trying to improve. Um, any questions, comments, please let me know. And as always, be well, stay safe.